Welcome everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got some exciting news to bring you in this video and that is about a new PlayStation 4 console that is actually in development. There are confirmations apparently that there are prototype uh, versions of this console out there so it's not actually a rumour, it is actual fact. So we've got lots to talk about. First about the gameplay, it's Black Ops 3 of course and I'm on the PlayStation 4 trying to get used to the controls. I think it was level 37 when I started this game, I haven't even reached Prestige 1 yet on PS4. I was trying to get the power core score streak and I think I actually go in a relentless medal as well, so it's quite a fun gameplay. Anyway, on to this new console. So I'd like to start off by saying I recently put up a video about a new rumoured Xbox One console and that was Phil Spencer who talked about that and it was actually not clear from his discussions whether they were releasing a new console or a piece of add-on hardware to the existing Xbox One console. In the case of the PS4, the new version, it's got two names, it's been called PlayStation 4.5 and PlayStation 4K and information certainly points towards it being an actual new console rather than a piece of hardware that would bolt on to your existing PS4. That is about as much as we can call fact on this one. Um, that is regarding its name and that suggestions are that it could actually be a whole new console. Anything else other than that is simply thought and speculation but I'd like to give my thoughts on this. So one of the new names is PlayStation 4K. 4K could obviously refer to the resolution. Now, existing PlayStation 4 games run in 1080p and they look pretty nice as everyone knows. To get a game of this quality, for example Black Ops 3 running at 4K, keeping all the graphical effects intact, you're going to need a pretty powerful machine. So I'm tending to think it may not be a new PlayStation which can run games at 4K. You could obviously run games at 4K easily enough if you strip back on the graphical effects and so on but that's not something they'd want to do so I'm tending to lean away from the train of thought that it could be playing games in 4K unless they're existing games upscaled or something along that lines. It's simply too too soon, I think, for a new console to be coming out that can run games in 4K and all their graphical glory. That is, unless the device is a few years away, but there are prototype units out there, so the time scale is unknown, but I, I doubt at this mo moment in time they're looking at running games in 4K. So it is quite possible that it is actually a PlayStation 4 games console as we have, but it has the ability to play movies in 4K. That's certainly something that would be possible. The PlayStation consoles have always been popular Blu-ray players, so why not um, take out a new version that can play movies in 4K? So that's one theory. The other thing that makes me edge away from the gaming theory of games running in 4K is that what would they do? Could current games such as Black Ops 3 be patched to run in 4K? And would the machine have the graphical power to do that? The other thing is, if, if that was possible, would players on the new PlayStation 4K console play alongside people on the existing PlayStation 4? Now, to me that sort of leads to an uneven playing field. On console, you think if you're playing on a PlayStation 4, everyone's playing at the same resolution. Of course, you can get different controllers and stuff, but basically you think everyone's running at the same resolution uh, when they're playing this game. If you then take some people who are able to run at a higher resolution, does that give them an advantage? Also, what about performance? At times, um, in Black Ops 3 or the other games, there may be a little bit of slowdown. Now, if you're playing a multiplayer game on, say, your PS4 and at some point it slows down, yet people on the more powerful PlayStation 4K don't get the same slowdown, they've got an advantage. The other thing could be that, say, the PlayStation 4K is struggling to run games at that resolution. It could sort of slow down where the PlayStation 4 running at a lower resolution is, is achieving more frames per second and the player has got an advantage. So I don't think it's really going to be based on games. That's why I'm thinking more along the lines of the movies. They also 
could be releasing some sort of PlayStation which has got the VR either built in or bundled with it or something. That is certainly an option. Sony is pushing VR at the moment. That's the talk of the town, so to speak. So could the new console be offering that built in and possibly also the ability to play 4K movies and it would make it sort of an all-in-one more more feature packed PlayStation 4 if you like yet when it comes to games it will only play them at the same resolution and speed as the current PlayStation 4 does. I also think Sony wouldn't want to upset or split its customer base in terms of gaming. As I say, I think they want all people playing the same game. They wouldn't like to be releasing two versions of the game. Or maybe it's going to also be a lot of work to go back and release patches for older games if that would even be possible to get them to run at higher res. And it's also going to be more work for developers to create new games and to cover for two PlayStation consoles, to test them in two PlayStation consoles and so on. So I would like to think and logic suggests that the actual inside of this new PlayStation 4K or PlayStation 4.5 will play games um, just the same as the existing PlayStation 4 does. So it's all very interesting, it certainly gets the mind going and it's going to be interesting in coming months to see what more information gets released and to find out what this thing actually is. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed hearing my thoughts and watching the gameplay. Stay tuned to my channel, I'll have more videos up soon as always. Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day and I will see you soon in another video.